there are almost 5 million over 70s on the road in Britain. With calls to retest older drivers, we caught up with a man in his 90s who has never passed his driving test. When I hear God have been old or up to old to drive. Let's go to the seaside. <laughs> Steady. The couple who sometimes get in a spot of bother. Although we've got a, what's, old, we've, we had it last year, I think. A sat nav. A sat nav. We haven't used it much. No. We've got the driver, we've got the navigator. I think I have one way. And one man who prefers an alternative way of travel. I've always enjoyed driving my scooter. It gives me the sense of freedom on the open road. I'm Mary Savile. I'm 73 years old. Driving is important for Mary as her husband has epilepsy and relies on her to get around. How long have you been driving now, Mary? Fifty-five years. Fifty-five years? Yeah. Good grief. Watch this. Potholes, is it? Potholes, yeah. You can hardly see. Um, it wouldn't do any harm to have a test, but a lot of people at 70 are quite capable. I think at, probably at 90. Not, not even take another test. I think you should, this, you should be you should be stopped. You're 90 years old for, let's be right. I'm Morris. I'm 91 and a half, and I've been driving 75 years. With over 37 million vehicles on Britain's roads, elderly drivers like Morris can feel the pressure behind the pedal. I'm pretty for impatient. Right. That, that has a big bearing mm. on it, you see. Mm. I mean, if I'm driving it, uh, within the speed limit, you get people tailgating, yeah. wanting to push you on. Despite never taking a driving test, Morris is still confident out on the road. I still drive, as I remember always driving, and uh, there's no difficulty at all. My reactions are just as good. I'd compare them with anybody else. Although some elderly drivers feel confident, with age, eyesight worsens and reflexes become slower. Obviously, she got taken to hospital as well for our ambulance. And I got like, a phone call a few days later from the police like informing that, like, sadly, she had passed away. In 2014, Tom was involved in a head-on collision with a 94-year-old. A couple of weeks before I started university, and I was off to play golf with my brother and a couple of other friends. And we were driving along an A road. Um, I saw another car coming to a filter lane. But then I got closer, like 100 yards from her. I thought, she's waiting for me to go past. So when I was about 10 metres from her, she thought, well, she pulled out. So I hit her. And her car like spun around into the other side of the road. Obviously when she took the test, it would have been, what, 70 years ago at least. At 94, your actions are going to be slower. and you're not going to be as aware of your surroundings as you would be as a younger driver. A study looking into the reaction times of older people was carried out by a Nottingham psychologist. When we show them one object, then there are no differences between older and younger adults in terms of the rate at which they process information. As soon as we introduced multiple um, objects into their task, that changed. Overall, older adults were slowed by about 500 milliseconds. Okay, it's only half a second, that's not much, but in terms of driving, half a second slower um, has an implication. But they can compensate for that, they can compensate for that by driving more slowly. Rather, it doesn't make them any more likely to get into an accident or any more dangerous. I'm Morris, um, I'm seven, 78 years old and I've been riding scooters for about uh, 62 years. Morris takes extra safety precautions whilst out riding. I wear high visibility coat, crash helmet. It's important to be seen by everybody else out there, but also to be aware of other people and other drivers. This specialist driving school for mature drivers in Nottingham is keen to keep pensioners on the road. It's very easy to criticise and to easily say that somebody in their later life um, brings problems to the road, 
without acknowledging that actually they've got so much behind them and they can generally self-modify their driving to continue to make it work for them into their later life. <laughs> With so much to offer, would it be a mistake to retest the retired? If you tested around at 70, I don't know what the, how the results would be, but let's say a lot of did fail then. Well, that means they can't drive and you're relying on public transport and it could be like a, quite a serious effect on like their lives, to be honest. I'll take it as it goes. While ever I feel as I do now, I'll keep driving. I think you'll be very reluctant to give your independence up, although some older drivers maybe ought to give it up. For myself, I'll just keep driving to the end of my days. 